Viewer discretion is advised. Your fave will be criticized. Zip zap zoom. <laughs> That's Chris. That's Shan. And welcome to CCTV, the nonstop pop show. And we will be discussing and mix's debut track. Oh oh. If you're wondering who we are, Chris and I have a huge range of experiences in the music industry, from performing on stage to working at record labels. So we have a lot of insight into the crazy music industry. Yes, and today we are taking a look at NMIX, JYP's newest girl group, which debuted on February 22nd, 2022, with the single OO and the single album Admir. Hopefully I'm saying that right. No idea. Um, <laughs> and if you haven't seen or listened to our episode from a few weeks ago, we did go through JYP's girl group history and we talked about NMIX's evaluation uh, videos that they or whatever they were called. Um, and then we made some predictions as well. But were we correct? Let's mm. find out. But um, before mm -hmm. we get into it, we want to address a couple of comments that we got on our last video because um, people were not yeah. happy with some of the <laughs> comments that we made, I would like to say that we look at this very objectively, like mm -hmm. K-pop is kind of yeah. crazy right now. It's such a saturated market and totally. you know, our standards are high. Oh, so yeah. oh yeah. if you're gonna put out videos like that, we're gonna judge it against the rest of the industry. So yeah, totally. sorry, what makes like you stand us, out? some yeah. of it didn't match our expectations. Mm -hmm. What makes you stand out? At this point, I feel like you gotta come right or just don't come at all. Mm -hmm. you know um, so yeah so we did get a lot of similar uh comments but we'll just address kind of some of the some of the common comments that we got so yeah. one person did say i don't get how chris got itsy vibes from the qualifying videos when they were all so different um again we all have different opinions and that's actually yeah. what makes music so great right and yeah. what makes it fun to discuss in that we all kind right. of get different things from everything um mm -hmm. but I think I was pretty correct because of this song <laughs> and the a B side. Um, honestly, parts yeah. of them sound like Itzy songs. Mm -hmm. No, totally. I think yeah. this person was trying to like base it on like not just a hip hop concept, but there was like a lyrical dance with two of right. the members where they're dancing in black and white. But that's still not enough to differentiate this group for us, at least honestly. Because let's be real here: the whole girl crush, tough girl thing. Have they been dancing in some heels? Had they been doing some step dancing, maybe doing some salsa dancing, we would have been extremely confused, but also very intrigued. But they didn't. They did mm -hmm. exactly what Itzy could have done. And, yeah. you know, I'm you know, sorry. But uh, another interesting comment that we got was uh, based on the Hey One and Lily cover of Survivor, where a comment was made where I said that I felt like the girls had no souls in their voices uh by saying that they have no soul in their voice i mean they sound like they were singing karaoke and technically even though they can hit the notes the timbre of their voice or the tone is lacking the soul that grit that oomph uh that ailey has that hyorin has that even a lot of sm artists have because they're looking for r&b type vocalists if you're going to sing an r&b song make sure you can hit those runs as cleanly or at least change it in a way that complements your artist's voices that being said the comment says i think a lot of the negative discussion can also be explained by the fact that they are quote unquote technically great but have no feelings behind it it is a narrative that has been used to discredit asian people a lot in arts in the west i'm quite disappointed to see this narrative being used by a fellow asian and a black person who should know how hard it is when people get discriminated based on discriminated against excuse me based on their ethnicity mm -hmm. uh that was not at all what we said we didn't say that they don't have emotions the timbre of their voice just did not connect for me I'm yeah sure about you, i but... think okay so i I, un I understand where this person is coming from because you yeah. know i learned street dance and and you know i understand and, and know this yeah. kind of argument and, and i've heard these mm -hmm. comments before and yeah mm -hmm. this definitely is not what we meant by that, you know, yeah. you just previously listed a lot of Asian artists that do have that soul that you were referring to. And yeah. we also got a lot of comments related to that. Um, one person said, um, saying they don't know what they're singing about when they had near perfect pronunciation. You know, both mm -hmm. Lily and Haywon are English speakers, right? This has nothing to do with how good the pronunciation was. Yes, mm -hmm. when we when we said they don't know what they're singing about, we meant there's no feeling behind it. You know, Survivor no. is a song about you know, fighting the haters and, you know, um, 
not just struggling. Yeah, yeah. And, and <laughs> the, the fight behind Beyonce's voice, the fight behind the other Destiny's Child members' voices during their parts, like you don't hear that at all. You know, they're just like, mm -hmm. "I'm a survivor," not like. Yeah. You know, I'm a survivor. Yes, You're not giving that push. You. There is no push. Yes. That's what I'm saying. That's but for them, mm -hmm. yeah. He's like, there's no I'm a survivor. Yeah, I was like, but, uh, I needed you to do that. Thank you. <laughs> I got you. I got you. But yeah, it's one of those things where again, um, I went, I, I saw someone perform um You're Gonna Love Me by Jennifer Hudson, and she hit the notes, but everyone was sitting in that audience like, okay, all right. But if you hear Jennifer saying it, you're like, dang, I, sheesh, I want to cry. I want to feel mm -hmm. that. I didn't feel that from those girls. It doesn't mean they're not talented. It just wasn't the right song for their voices and their vocal capabilities. I'm not a runner. You all never catch me out here going, whoa, whoa, whoa. You all, <laughs> I don't do that because that's, that's not my wheelhouse, yeah. right? Um, and also, someone also made a comment about, you know, Lily not being supposed, like a, a supposed ITZY member. Um, just to clear that up again. I found this information on different K-pop sites like Soompi or, or K-pop profiles. And granted, we are not in the room with these people. We don't know what actually was the case. So for any of us to assume that we know is very haughty and very egotistic. So nobody actually really knows. Um, someone actually says that it's embarrassing being YouTubers that don't do their research. Lily was never going to be an itsy that was so me. Again, you weren't in the room when it happened and neither was I. So um Again, we're just going off specu speculative comments and information based on like K-pop blogs. Yeah. Right. Also, so, like, no need to be mean sure. about it. Like, I yeah. go ahead and correct <laughs> us. Bad. Like, I would love to learn the real information. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, like we're human. You know, no one's perfect. No one knows everything. So yeah, give us the information. You don't need to be super rude about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but, and... we, but we were being rude. But we were being rude. Remember. I mean, sure. I mean, at the end of the day, you can't love everything. It's not realistic no. to love everything. And again, nice. I think that's what makes music so interesting is that we can actually discuss yeah. it and hear different opinions. So that leads us very yes. well into now finally yes. talking about the song because it's out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we we'll about to talk about oh, oh and see if it actually is a bop or if it's a flop. This is Is It Boppin'? Here, we listen to the song and discuss the production, lyrics, video, and everything in between. So let's find out, is it a bop or a flop? All right, so the song Oh Oh is done by a collective called The Hub, and the names listed are Ari, Ayushi, Brian Yu, Shanti, Charlotte Wilson, Inan, Jan Bars, Mark Along, and Rajan Muse. And then there's one name that's listed that is not part of The Hub, which is EJ, so... Good for you for, I guess, getting in there. Um, so anyway, this is a lot of people <laughs> for a song that has um, a lot going on. So what did you think of the production? I just want to say to everyone who was like, I don't know how y'all getting Itzy. You know who did it, Not Shy by Itzy? The Hub. <laughs> you, know <who> did... <laughs> you know who did this song by Oh Oh? the hub and that's okay why because when companies like songwriters they will go back to the same songwriters to mm -hmm. recreate another hit so <clears throat> fixing my damn dress yeah. anyway so <laughs> the production of this song it was brassy sirens and it was interesting to me because i thought oh wow this sounds like girls going into battle girls going to war like mm -hmm. i was a fan of first by um everglow hot take for me i know i know but i liked it i was like i like seeing girls acting like they're from, you know, Geshen Impact or something. Um, so the horns playing throughout was interesting, um, but I feel like as it started going, it started losing its momentum and I couldn't really grasp onto anything that was like outstanding in the production really. And then in the second verse, oh my God, ay, ay, ay. it <laughs> sounded like a, <laughs> it sounded literally like it could have been a bridge. It should have been the bridge. You know what I'm saying? Like it just, mm. it, or uh, listen, if you're going to blend all these genres together, at least make something like this the bridge. Like, it was just such a weird, like, and mix. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. You know what I'm saying? And for the, view for the listeners on the podcast, I am wearing the dress that is inspired by the video. Um, and I'm just really confused because, honestly, once again, that rock section sounded like the rock cuts from Itzy's first album, It's Different. Yeah. Hello? Come on. Yeah. I'm just... I'm gonna, I'm gonna die yeah. on this damn hill. Okay, so I it. agree with you. I think the problem is the song starts very near 100 already. You know, yeah. there's a very slight build, but the verses are already kind of at 100. And like all the 
all the noises uh, the synths the all of that going the, on it's yes. all like right in the middle of the like the spectrum and so it's yes. all kind of just hitting the one spot in your ear so it's just it's noisy it's powerful mm -hmm. but it, it's noisy it's yeah. just like a lot and then then yeah. the way that they're singing also is just also just like a lot um and then yeah the second verse mm -hmm. okay i i remember when i got a boy came out right that's in this oh my God, everyone yeah. was like this is so jarring it's like you can tell it's all yeah. these different songs put together but they at least made it work you know um yeah. it's still a little weird at times yeah but at yeah. least like the vibe is still the same between all the parts it wasn't mm -hmm. like this where it's like it's literally a different yeah. song like i it, yeah it's not even related no, it's not even closely right. related at all okay like this no, is just ridiculous no. um and yeah, yeah i think overall my issue with it is that th there's just nothing that stands out melodically or sonically mm -mm, i couldn't no. really sing it back to you now uh, yeah, and i've listened either. to it now like 15 times in a row you know like right before yeah. we film this like uh, at least right. with espa we get like the sm r b bridge that at least has a really nice melody we know what it is yeah, yeah. and then there's just this really abrupt yeah. ending and it's uh yeah it just doesn't go anywhere like i i, I no, don't right. i just kind of end it like okay yeah is is that is that it but then also i was kind of glad at the same time because like, oh god is it <laughs> yeah um oh, well so we talked a lot about jyp's kind of vocal style oh. and what he what the Ooh, yeah. company likes um in their group so mm -hmm. what did you think of the vocals i i remember writing down this morning uh nasally af mm. nasally af um and i have to say I like Jenny. I always liked Jenny. I thought her face was interesting. I just liked the way she looks. Um, but apparently she is a rapper. I don't care. I don't care. Even if she did do um, that vocal cover for her qualifying video. No offense. She's not much of a singer. Like how Itzy isn't that much, isn't known for singing. Mm. They're known for maybe like speak rapping and sing rapping or whatever. Jenny's that. Jenny's definitely the rapper type. I don't care what anyone says. They're all rounders. Jenny can rap. That's mm. that's what she can do. I don't like the no the the the. the the, the nasally approach to her rap in the first bit mm -hmm. that she the but and gibberish that she's yelling out she sounded like Hong Jung in the beginning of Neverland mm -hmm. and oh my god you know what at least he tried his best to try to figure out and put the story together for her she was yelling out a bunch of onomatopoeias and then the only time I liked her rap was at the end she was like Toa Toa to that's the only time I liked it right because mm. she was sitting she was rapping in the part of her voice that did not come from her nose it was like right in her chest it was like her speaking tone even maybe um vocalists they sound alike hang one started singing and then bay started singing right after couldn't really tell them apart except maybe one doesn't sound sound as emotional as the other um Lily stand stood out because she doesn't sound like JYP yeah um but yeah there was nothing in there that made me go whoa yeah and then the ad libs at the end were so sticky like and this is not the i know sticky's not the word but it's like yeah 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 it was just very sticky like it was trying to pull itself apart to sound powerful mm -hmm. and impactful and, and super it nasally soulful. it wasn't coming yeah, like, it, was just... it didn't feel open didn't, the throat wasn't open no super yeah. st thank you sticky thank you okay i was right then it's sticky i didn't like it but what about you what did you think about the vocals yeah overall i mean i'll agree with you i think lily sounds great that her voice definitely yeah. stood out for me especially in the first verse i think the second verse with that like extreme high note that comes out of nowhere oh. you know it was a little much like i don't know i feel like yes. there's a way to show off vocals without doing that i don't know i don't they chose a yeah it says oh you're right yeah like that. Um, yeah no but she weird. but yeah she's she sounds great in most of her parts and, and yeah i enjoy yeah. her voice a lot but yeah i agree mm -hmm. overall not my favorite the whole kind of yodely way of singing the chorus um, the way. where the um you sing the chorus that thing yes. <laughs> yeah <laughs> really annoying that's really annoying. I do not like that style of vocal delivery. I get that it's maybe a way to, to have some sass or, or to have some power, but like, blood, just not pleasing to me personally. Um, so yeah, and then the whole song is like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's no, yeah. there's no more, yeah. I hate, sorry to use the word again. There are no soulful moments in this song. 
And, Shoot. And again, I'm going to bring it back to Espa because clearly this song was inspired by the disjointedness of Espa's songs. Totally. And totally. at least with Espa, you do get the kind of different vocal delivery for the different parts. Yeah. And you know who's who's who. Yeah. You know who's who in this group. And it's it's really a shame because like even, even down to like the words that they were using, we're going to get into it in a sec with the lyrics, but like the bala bala part, yeah. the delivery of that, if it's bala, then say bye la the first time. Bye la blah blah and then let the rest of it be blah 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 blah. Yeah. I had some my friend, she's Puerto Rican, she was staying with me this um this up until today, and she heard the song. She's like, is she saying blah 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 blah? I'm like, no, she's saying <laughs> bye la bye la. She goes, mm. So I understand that bye la adds an extra sound that you don't yeah. need that might not fit melodically, but at least go bala 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 at the end. Not bala 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 bala. God. Like, oh, Oh yeah. Oh my oh, god, yeah. so annoying. Oh, god. It's so <laughs> annoying. And like also don't get me wrong, I am not an Espa stan either. I I'm not a fan of right. Savage or any of those songs, but like compared Savage. to Wait, no. this song, those songs are masterpieces. Um <laughs> but um <laughs> lyrically, um okay, I mean I only read the translation <sighs> once. I mean it just feels like a lot of random phrases strung together, mm -hmm. but you found kind of more of a meaning, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't blame you. There was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of automatopia, zip, zap, zoom, shung, shung. Yeah, I think I got all of that just was distracting, and I was like, I don't know what I'm reading. <laughs> I don't blame you. And I feel like even when you look at the video and you put the subtitles on, all the double O's are capitalized. All the big O's are like, oops, capitalized, boom. Cap it's like, <laughs> stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, um, Okay, so I'm looking at the lyrics. Like the first verse is very much like, hey, we're those girls. Like, you know, we're the main event. Get your Coke, get your popcorn. It's a lot of like, we are the show. We're, this is okay. just a teaser. Yeah. This is just a teaser of what we're, what we're about to show you, which is great because, boy, they room to grow, right? So, um, <laughs> but I have to say in the second verse, they get a little more, I don't even know. I don't even know if, if meta, I don't know, they get a little existential. I don't freaking know. But all I know is I see the lyrics about, you know, uh, see that maze in zeros and ones, stop staring, come follow. Like everything is fake, but I ain't fake. The real starts now. Implying that they are in some type of matrix, that the listener is in the matrix of just typical girl group, I guess. I'm just trying here. I'm reaching. I appreciate out. that. I appreciate that. Right. Um, because but after that it goes right back to the automata P is like wake up, don't hit the snooze, knock knock, boom boom, tap tap, follow me, let me be your superhero. And I'm like, what is happening? I just don't I don't understand. And that kills me because that section, it like I feel oh, I feel like they could have gone with a different sound with this song, like production wise, more industrial, more electronic, even R and B even. But the fact that they did this, oh my god, it just doesn't make sense, especially with the the zeros and ones and the zero zero. Zero plus zero equals infinity. No, it equals nothing, actually. But <laughs> the sentiment the All sentiment right. I appreciate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, okay, yeah. Sorry. This it's song is just like it's not for me. Um but the video, I thought the video actually had yeah. some cool moments in it. Um, oh, yes. I guess the good thing about having such a jarring song with two completely different sounds in it is you do get yeah. to see very different sides of the members, right? So you do get to see yeah. kind of the fiercer side and you get to see the more pretty and sweet side. So I guess mm -hmm. for a new girl group, I guess that's good, right? That you can see all of that. Um, right. And yeah, I thought some of the imagery was cool. I mean, it was a lot. Um, I feel like yeah. K-pop in general needs to... You know, less is more sometimes. We don't need yeah. that many scenes. It's a, yeah. it's a lot. Um, but mm -hmm. I thought some of the some of the parts were cool and were memorable. Like I liked them floating on those rock islands in the sky. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like some some interesting things there. Um, mm -hmm. But definitely takes a few more watches, I think, to really even try and understand what's going on. You know what? <laughs> Luckily, that's exactly what I do. Did. There you go. <laughs> Gave it a few more watches. So, <clears throat> time for <laughs> Shani's Corner. All right, so here I am, minding my business in my in mixed dress. And uh, I've been wearing this dress all day. Um, <laughs> so, basically, <laughs> I'm being such a jerk. Sorry, guys. Not sorry. So, yes, Lily is playing with the dominoes that will shift the paradigm that these girls are looking to shift because apparently they're trying to break through the matrix, right? So, they are 
girls who have landed on this planet or landed somewhere. It's a post-apocalyptic world. They, as you can see, the anchors there. They may have crashed because the steering wheel's there too. Mm. Um, and it's very avant pirate, uh, very Captain Hook, um, which is probably why they got a lot of comparisons to ATs, including the the pirate ship and then and then the whole cloud moment. But the, again, the world is post apocalyptic, and they're looking for a way out. That's why Lily's pushing the the dominoes, make everything fall away. They're going to be the ones to break out. Hence, all the walls that uh, Kujin. I think it's breaking through and the collapsing slabs of stone. But then they find a gateway to, I guess, a spirit world, like, you know, a la Avatar. I don't freaking know. But they're inside this donut shop. And inside this donut shop are little spirits of animals. And everything's gravity is defied. When they touch things, life happens. You know, flowers are blooming, you know? Yeah. You see where I'm going here? Yes. With this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then it's magically they're in the sky with the clouds and the flying whale. Yeah. And, which was freaking weird. And the pirate ship once again, and they're surrounded by different planets like earth one, earth two, earth 23, even because if you notice, they're all different earths. Right. Um, and the girls are dancing on it, obviously in these dresses, like the one I'm wearing now. Um, but yeah. And then when they return back, they're not just the girls trying to save the world. They are finally the captains, hence all the little special sparkly things on their, their lapels and whatnot. So yeah, they come back from the spirit realm with information to save the world. And that's my, that's my theory. But do they save the world at the end? No, right? No, Chris, let me rock. <laughs> okay <laughs> you're right but the, don't you but don't you see that in the video don't you does, does that no yeah, yeah yeah i yeah? i think more okay, so good. they're just like awakened more so than the awakened i think it's like if, you, if you're going sad. back to the matrix it's like oh now they know thank you right oh yes thank you chris thank yeah. you for saving the ending yeah, um that's my that's my theory okay okay i mean that's a cool but, idea yeah i feel bad for them though because they're, they, they're getting dragged through the mud as if this group themselves chose their concept when literally whatever production company did ATZ's videos, even Twice's videos, is probably the group, the, the company that did their video. It I mean, like I said, I didn't mind the video. I thought it had some cool moments in it. I thought it was just a little too much, but as a whole, I actually enjoyed it. Yeah, I, 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 I know. It's just the imagery is very much just, it's being told, it's being uh, called out for plagiarism because of the whole pirate thing, the whole floating around the pink clouds. That's yeah. definitely an ATs kind of imagery thing. Like again, I think it's the same production company, truly. Even with the whale flying through the clouds, I think I saw that in a twice video, and I was like, "What the f?" But I mean, hey, this is what happens. Like, no offense, but if you think that your groups are not going to recycle sounds, imagine what the production companies are not going to be able to do, really. Yeah. You know yeah, for sure. Like, oh. Yeah. All yeah. right. So, well, as of this recording, we haven't seen a full performance or chore or the choreography yet. Um, there yeah. is a teaser for the studio tune, but it's not out yet for us. Um, mm -hmm. So we'll just talk about, I guess, the dancing that we can see in it so far. Mm -hmm. um, there are some cool formations in here. Um, I do like the leg in the beginning with them all hold. I, for I forget who the member is, oh, but I thought yeah. that was cool. Um, mm -hmm. And and my favorite part was that little swing moment in the second verse. Yes, the second verse. Love that. Yes. Um, but the chorus, what do you think of the chorus dance with them going down and then flapping their knees? What do you think? I didn't dislike it. It looks like an African kind mm -hmm. of like a African movement. Yeah. I could be completely wrong. Like an Afro beat something. This is, this is another moment where I really do wish or like, I don't even know, that people would just stop using... <laughs> Afro beats to justify a, a random crazy line in a song, or I, I think it's weird because it's, yeah. it's weird. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not upset with it. It's just, <laughs> it's just a little funny. This little crab leg dance, bala bala, yeah. especially with the bala bala. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't, it doesn't feel it's powerful memorable, enough or though. impactful. Yeah, it is. I would That's say it's it. memorable, but I will say yeah. when they are five years older, that is not going to be fun to do. So hopefully they have an alternative because I would hate to do that now yeah maybe maybe like a little galloping with a body roll or something bla, 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 mm -hmm. something and hit the beat um i will say that jenny's parts were all fire every time jenny was going i was like honey don't don't tell that girl nothing jenny's the blonde one in the video um but yeah she was giving it to me honey again again this is why she had the best dance parts that i've noticed everyone mm. else you know they dance or whatever and then i think Q, i think her name is q jen if i'm saying it wrong or like the wrong member sorry guys um but she had the cute swing moment but jenny's the one in the beginning rapping with the shung shung and then at the end you know the choa with the head nod that i'm not really fond of but i didn't know, mind the head still. nod that's again it was just memorable i thought it made a cool shot yeah 
it, it looks cool exactly like yeah. again she sold it i was looking at her like damn that's weird but okay i like yeah. it all right so what is your final verdict for the track what will you rate it okay even with all my critiques of it mm -hmm. um i think had the song had been a straight through of that weird like sireny foghorn kind of sound song it would have been something good if they would have gone with just the second verse being a full song it would have been something good uh so i want to give it a 6.5 i feel like it's 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 just above five for me um but it's not good enough for me like i want to revisit this the melody wasn't there it was lacking in a sense and i just wish that jyp would have just done something different i mean i get it you're a big enough company to take the risk but the risk was not big enough especially if it's a derivative an electronic deliver derivative of itsy luna ats and every other group that i can freaking name right now espa yeah shall i go on so yeah 6.5 what All about right. you okay so for me i'm going to give it a five um mm. i think my expectations were high um mm -hmm. and i think that was actually spurred on by a lot of the negative comments that we got from the last time because i was like i must be missing something because i guess you know yeah. they, they must have be gearing up for something amazing and this wasn't yeah and i yeah. really value melody and i think you'll see that just consistently in all of our reviews both for western and k-pop music i yeah. melody is my number one thing and yeah. there is no melody in this song and mm -hmm. if you're gonna go do a disjointed song like this at least have mm -hmm. some decent melodies in each part you know yeah um so yeah, this this wasn't for me. Um, and honestly, it doesn't seem like the general public disagrees with me either because mm. it hasn't been that mm. positive so far from what I've seen. Um, yeah, but I'm Oops. curious where they'll go from here. I mean, what True. do you think? True, I mean, honestly, at this point, <laughs> we are vindicated. We were right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm. A I'm gonna say, she, you, <laughs> y'all tried it, but at the end of the day, this song did not. And also, and also, for the people who sit there and bought that blind package and are now complaining, stop investing in things you have not seen. This whole sight unseen thing, this love is blind. No, you don't know, because now you got this, and now you have to sit there and defend it. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, and again, it's okay to not love everything. You can still support yes. this group and not love the song. You know what I mean? Because yes. I do see potential in these members. There's definitely some good totally. talent there. Um, yeah. And I think, like you said, I, I hope JYP does take more risk instead of trend chasing because mm -hmm. it does just sound yeah. like a derivative of all those groups that you just listed. Mm -hmm. And I think, again, in such a competitive world right now, it's just it's yeah. not gonna work it's not enough no it's not enough they need to think outside the box um but yeah honestly i really do wish they would have gone more for r b kind of sound there's so many sounds in r&b they could have done future bass they have the talent they have the dance for that like mm. But yeah, honestly, they gotta come. They gotta come harder. This is not like an insult to the people who wrote the song, because y'all write great songs, regardless of how we feel about this song. But this was just not it for us, honestly. Uh, but again, like you said, nowhere else to go but up. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, what do you all think about Nmix's debut track? Let us know in the comments below, or follow us, or and actually follow us at CCTV Pods <laughs> on all social media. Please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell. And for our listeners, please give us a rating and review on your podcast platform of choice. Until next time, that's Jan. That's Chris, and we were right. And we are also CCTV. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,